Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free global preset style guide for Divi's bike repair layout. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So this gives you an idea of all the assets that we have in this preset style guide. So as you can see here, we have some colors, we have headers, we we have quite a lot here that we can play around with in our designs. So this is the color palette, the gradient. We also have other visuals here like these icons and um, the styles for the images. And as we go through here, all our headers, head, all our headers are designed for us, the body text and so on. So as you can see, this is really, really powerful. We also have buttons here that we can uh, use in our designs, saving us a lot of time. And over here, we also have our blurbs and all they all have all the icons added to them. So what you need to do now when you get to this page is to download them. So you want to come over here to uh, this area here, add your email address and then click on download. Next, we're going to click on download the files. And you can see here they've been downloaded on the bottom of my screen. Now, immediately what you need to do is to unzip this file. So I'm going to come over here now and show in Finder. Now, there's several ways you can try to find where you've downloaded uh, everything. So in my case, that's the easiest way. So anyway, here is the zipped file that I've just downloaded. What you need to do next is to double click on it because ideally what we need is this .json file. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this over to my other screen so I can show you how to install this on our site. So over here on my website, I can come all the way down here to Divi and then click on Divi Library. Next, I'm going to click on Import and Export. But in fact, you know what? If you have any files here, this is what this looks like. But if you don't have any files, it's fine. This is our library. So I can go in here and just delete this just like that. But of course, if you want to keep any of this, you can just keep it uh, in your library. So now let's go ahead and import our preset style guide. So I'm going to click here on import, click on the import tab, and then you want to click make sure that import presets is checked. Now remember that file that we unzipped, which is right here, we need to drag and drop it here. Now notice I dragged and dropped the um, .json file, not the zipped file, okay? Next, I'm going to click Import DV Builder Layout. But if you want to look for this file manually, you can just click on Choose File and navigate through your folders that way. Okay, great. So our presets have been installed and we can see that it is right here. The next step now is uh, let me show you how you can add these presets. So I'm going to come over here and click on Add New Page so we can add a brand new page. So let's just call this Bike Repair use Divi Builder. Now, the best way to use this preset style guide is to use the corresponding pre-made layout. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I want to click here on Start Building. And I want to click on Choose a pre-made layout. And the layout that we need is the bike repair, which is right here. So we can choose any page here. This will work fine. So I'm going to go with this one, use this layout. Great. So you can see here my layout has been uh, installed successfully. So now as I design this page, if I need to add anything, whether it's a button, text and all of that, it is already designed for us you, uh, through the presets. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say I want to add a button here. So if I click on this plus button and search for my button and select it, initially it looks like we just have our normal button here, which is our default button that you get when you install Divi. But when I come over here now to my presets, notice what I, what happens. I have all these button styles. So I have four of them. So I'm going to choose this one here and boom, just like that, I have this style. I can go to number two, go to number three, go to number four. So all these are the different styles of buttons pre-designed for me. So if at any point you want to use um, any of these presets, you can just click on this drop down and boom, right? Like just like that, you now have it. Okay. So let me give you one more example. So I'm going to go in and delete this. All right. So let's say we would want to add some text in here. So again, I'm going to search for my text module 
Now, by default, we get um, this text right here. But of course, you want to make sure your website is consistent. So if I click here on this little pen brush icon, it takes me to my design tab. So when I click on this drop down, notice what happens. I can now choose my body preset just like that. Now my font has been selected and I don't need to spend time trying to set my line height and uh, all this other stuff. Now, let's say you want to add a heading. So you'd come over here and uh, let's say this text here needs to be uh, heading two. Okay. Now, what you would do in this case is to come over here to design heading text, go to heading two, and then you can just select your preset. So this is our heading two preset and boom, just like that. It is designed for us. It is uh, mobile friendly and it can work well on more all mobile devices. So you don't have to spend time going in, uh, trying to add your own headers when you have a page that is designed for us this way. So here as well. So as you're designing this, ideally, the best way to use this is you would come in here and um, say you want to get rid of some of this text to add your own. You can just delete some of the text like that. And occasionally what you may also want to do is to uh, let me save this is to come over here to this blog post so you can see all the presets that are designed. So here you can see we have our social media follow. So let's say I want to add social media follow. So what I would do here is to click on this plus button and search for social media follow. There we go. So that's uh, the default. So if I come over here now, I can then choose my style. So I've got that one or I can go with this style here. So you can see here that these are designed for us ahead of time. And even if I duplicate this, I can go in and change this to um, a different one. So let's say this time I need Instagram. Boom, just like that. It follows the style, all that in a circle. So it has saved me quite a lot of time uh, designing these social media follow uh, layouts. So as I mentioned, when you come back over here, this gives you an idea of how things are or how things are designed. So this is our newsletter opt-in and this is preset opt-in form number one. There we go. So we also have accordions. We have blurbs as well. So let's do a quick example of a blurb as well. So if I come over here, select a blurb. When I come over here now to my presets, I have all these presets. But of course, I need to go in and style it first. So you can see here as I'm going through this, all this is changing. Just like that. Okay. So all these presets are done way ahead of time for us, saving us a lot of time uh, designing all these from scratch as we are working on our website. So go ahead, set up your preset style guide. And this is going to make it easier to, for you to amend and add more content to your pre-made layouts. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.